I'm Zach Cummings. I am one of the owners up here at Glory MMA and Fitness Northland. Also the head instructor, I'm the, the head Brazilian Jiu Jitsu instructor and the head coach for the MMA classes. I have a professional record of 23 wins, seven losses. I have a whole bunch of other co uh, competition as well as boxing, the ultimate fighter, uh, exhibition matches, and, um, and amateur fights as well. I'm a first degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Got my black belt under Leo Pisanya. Uh, I've been training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for going on 15 years now. So I got started in mixed martial arts, um, mainly just to uh, get back in shape. I was, I've been in sports my whole life and I had a really bad injury and it kind of stopped my, my college wrestling uh, career. Uh, I wanted to do something, so I, I walked into a, a Wednesday night into an MMA gym in Springfield, Missouri and uh, I was obsessed. I loved it. I, I loved everything that was going in. So. I, Loved the atmosphere, and I didn't really think I had any desire to really fight or anything. It wasn't anything I wanted to do. I just wanted to train. Um, but you know, as time went, uh, I found out I really, I really had the desire for for competing, and uh, and I really love the sport of MMA. Yeah, so my passion really went off. I really wanted to to help others and and just kind of show what martial arts can do for uh, for everyone's life and. It, it really it bettered mine, and I wanted to kind of uh, share that with others. So I've always been a very technical person, even as a, a bigger guy in, in other sports. So uh, I obsess over breaking down techniques, and, and I love being able to, to share that knowledge with others. My whole life has been about, about competition. Um, I've, I've been in sports my whole life. I, I love testing my skill set against uh, another team or another person and uh, whenever I got to the sport of MMA it just uh, was another avenue for me to to continue that that competition stint and uh, that's the reason I kind of started fighting and then love and the passion just kind of kept it going and it, uh, it I feel like it just kind of like chose me to continue that path I really I really wasn't planning on it but it just uh, it took a hold of me and just kept going and uh, years later, I'm, I'm still here and still doing it. If you have any desire to uh, be, uh, become a martial artist or you know improve your your skills that you might already have, uh, the best thing is just, just come through the door. I still remember on a Wednesday evening, years and years and years ago, <laughs> walking into the gym for the first time and just seeing what it was about. Uh, I talked about it for a long time, but actually open up the door and stepping in and just kind of like surrounding myself with the uh, with the atmosphere that was the the game changer for me. You can you can do all the research you want. You can act like you're going to be in shape. It, it doesn't matter. Just the the number one thing is to show up, make an appointment, show up, come in, and just surround yourself with the environment. The best way to, to meet your goals and overcome challenges is one, just to start. Like so many people want, they, they come up with all these ideas and, and they come up with the ideas that's already gonna hinder them from, uh, from reaching the stuff and they never even get started. The number one thing is if you wanna do something, just start, like you're gonna mess up, you're gonna screw up, just keep pushing forward and, and, and going and you're gonna, if you don't quit, you accidentally are gonna get better at something. You're accidentally gonna reach those goals. It might take a little bit longer than you anticipated, but uh, if you just put your head down and move forward and try to uh, enjoy the process and the journey of, uh, of whatever it is you're trying to do, uh, that's, that's the best way to get over it because you're gonna, you're gonna hit road bumps, you're gonna have issues, but if, as long as you just start, that's, that's the number one thing. And, and everybody is so scared of starting the, the thing they want so bad. So just, just don't be afraid to start. Take that first step forward.